port of Takradi, Ghana's premier commercial port, was opened in 1928 to facilitate international trade. The cargo that comes in through it feeds many multinational trade ecosystems which are vital to the economies of other nations within the sub-Saharan region. The port is also the central pivot for all supplies to Jubilee Field and other oil-related activities. A lot of the cargo entering the port is destined for countries without a coastline, such as Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. With the increase in trade across the world, large volumes of goods come and go on bulk carriers and container ships that are steadily increasing in size and tonnage capacity. From the colonial era until recently, the port had a depth of a mere 10.5 meters, which means larger vessels are unable to call at the port of Takradi and cargo often had to be transshipped onto smaller vessels to be brought to the port. Increase in trade also means the number of containers brought to the port increases significantly, resulting in congestion at the port. If the port at Takradi is to be more efficient in handling more cargo, to have larger storage capacity, mitigate the costs of trade, ultimately boosting Ghana's trade capacity within the region, these problems must be resolved. The government of the country, through the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, has decided that the Takradi Harbour must undergo the massive structural expansion it needs. The Takradi Port Expansion Project Ibistec Limited, who has been awarded a concession by GPHA to expand the port and to build a container and multi-purpose on-deck terminal called Atlantic Terminal Services, have accepted and proposed to develop the entire terminal that will handle the new post Panamax vessels with a maximum length overall of 360 meters and a maximum draft of 16 meters. On completion, Takradi Port will have the following an access channel and turning basin minus 18.5 meters deep, two minus 16 meter deep berths, 795 meters long, dedicated to container and rural vessels, three 14 meter to 16 meter deep berths of 900 meters for multi-purpose vessels, including oil and gas service vessels, a total terminal area, 61 hectares in size for the receipt storage and handling of all types of cargo from containers to oil pipes to cereals and grains. This terminal will be flexible in respect of cargo and space allocation. And finally, road and rail network connections. The projects besides improving the country's trading will increase employment opportunities as well as enhance harbor performance and post environmental management. The project is uh, one of the biggest projects for the ports in the West Africa. Uh, in this way, Takoradi port will become one of the important ports because of the draft of the vessels that could access the port. The project is broken into two-year phases. The first phase, which is currently underway, was commenced in July 2019. The project outline. The first phase of the project will include dredging, the construction of a 600 meter key wall, including land reclamation 160 meters wide and 600 meters long, to create the site for the construction of a 92,000 square foot paved area set to house offices and port administrative space, etc. The key wall shall be 1,800 meters long with berthing depths of minus 16 meters. Dredging is to be done using a cutter suction dredger, CSD a stationary dredger that is a floating pontoon or vessel that can dredge continuously in a wide range of soils. The project has to do with about minus 16 in terms of the bed. Minus 16 is international. It means that any vessel in the world can dock in Takradi. Currently, very smaller vessels can dock in Takradi because is it is very shallow. So once we are doing minus 16, it will attract bigger vessels. The post Panama's vessels can come in with all the containers they are carrying and it will still be discharged. All dredged materials will be used in the efforts to reclaim the land from the sea. This reclaimed land will be the site of the multi-purpose terminal. It will measure the first 200 meters of the 1,800 meter key wall. The subsoil determines the construction method of the key wall. Here, prefabricated concrete blocks offer the best solution. The rock below water acted as a foundation after the project team had installed an 80 cm layer of stones on top of it. In the construction of the key walls, prefabricated key wall blocks, each weighing approximately 60 tons, will be stacked in 10 layers high and will run the 600 meters of the first phase. The total key wall height will be up to 32 meters. 
The concrete blocks, each with a weight of 60 tons, are all made on site. When stacking the concrete blocks, they are aligned alternately. Each block has a projection on the upper side and a hole in the bottom, so that a locking system where the one block fits precisely into another, creating a secure link of massive blocks is used. Only one layer of block will be visible. The rest of it will sit underwater or below sea level. The entire wall structure will be secured in place with the aid of a capping beam cast in situ after the blocks have been set securely. This, according to schedule, will bring the first phase of the projects to completion and set the foundation for the completion of a much needed expansion for Ghana's premier trade port. Undoubtedly, the benefits of the expanded Takradi port will have far-reaching ripple effects for the economies and the livelihoods of citizens of Ghana and other countries like Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso. We are constructing an oil jetty with a dead weight of 50,000 capacity. That is the 50,000 dead weight capacity as compared to the old one that has up to 15 to 18 dead weights. Shorter time for delivery, shorter time at the bed, shorter time of hiring the vessel, and it all saves cost. That should be commissioned by October 2021. We invite the shipping public that whenever they are thinking about exporting or importing from wherever in the world to or from um, the West Africa subregion, the port of Takrade is here to serve them.